It is said, take three things from the falcon, foresight, self-esteem, and freedom. It is the fastest bird in the universe, reaching speeds of up to 160 kilometers per hour. Algeria has a rich history in breeding this distinguished bird over time. To delve into this history, the club's procession started from Busada through Algiers, Jelfa, Rilize, until it reaches the depths of the Tiret Desert in the Rashea area, with the dawn breaking, to meet one of the greatest Algerian falconers to learn about his adventure and the story of his passion. Tursun Zarouk was born in El Hamadia, Tiret Province, in 1973. He is a technician in accounting and management, married and father of six children. The beginning was in 1989 when I was 15 years old. It was my first encounter with a falcon. After that, I started falcon breeding with simple steps, relying on myself, as I had no contact with other falconers in Algeria. Zarouk's love for this hobby drove him to explore the heritage rooted in Algeria's history, and he was the first to publish the historical video documenting falcon hunting in 1909 in the Hajar Almal area near Jelfa. He also published many old photos that reflect the heritage of falconry in Algeria. As a researcher in the field of falcon breeding, I tried to highlight this hobby and make it known to those interested. Among what I published were photos from 1888 and a video documenting falcon hunting in Algeria, which was filmed in 1909. This video is considered the oldest recording of this hobby in the world, and this is what we take pride in as Algerians. Thus, in 2017, along with some friends, he established the first association specializing in falcon breeding in Algeria in a flu, and it was named the Amour Mountain Falconry Association. We thought of establishing an association to operate legally, and the name of the first association in Algeria for this hobby was Amour Mountain Falconry. We work on protecting falcon hunting to preserve the environment. This is one of our main goals that we hope to achieve. In 2019, the Algerian National Falconry Association was officially recognized, with Zarouk serving as the first vice president and the head of the organizing and media committee. He created a social media page for the association, which played a crucial role in reviving this authentic sport. The association became an observer member of the World Falconry Organization. Practicing falconry creates a bond between you and the falcon, an emotional bond. This hobby requires awareness and love for this bird. If you do not love it, you cannot continue with this hobby. The Algerian falcon is distinguished by its disease resistance, adapting to local environmental conditions, and can be raised indoors without the need for air conditioning. It is also known for its ferocity and bravery. Falcon breeding teaches you patience until you can tame it. It also teaches you courage and foresight in tracking its prey. As you contemplate this beautiful bird, there's a wonderful feeling known only to the falconer. Regarding the tools we use, I will mention their names locally. First, the swivel, which is attached to the falcon's leg. The second tool is the hood to cover the falcon's eyes. We use the lure during training, and there is also the glove used for carrying the falcon. The falcon also has characteristics such as its love for high places, it does not eat carrion, it kills its prey before eating it. Hence, eating the falcon's hunt is permissible according to the Quran. It is essential to teach the young the methods of this hobby and pass it on to them correctly as it is the heritage of the ancestors and a pride for the generations. Practicing falcon hunting teaches you to understand the environment, which makes you preserve it as much as possible. 
Falcon hunting is a type of hunting that serves sustainable development. The sunset draped over a busy day in the Algerian desert with the falconers, but the sun of authenticity will rise again from it, God willing, if this authentic sport returns to its former glory.